Good morning. It's been some time since I posted a video. So I thought I'd try and get out today. However, I've been faced with a number of challenges, as ever. So I came away in my caravan over half term to have a week off. Plan to do loads of riding and uh, got thwarted by a cold. However, at first I thought it was the dreaded COVID. So I had to go and get a test done. And uh, it's not COVID, thank God. It's just a really bad cold. So I'm up in Delamere Forest between Manchester and Chester and uh, I've just been in my caravan all the time not been able to breathe properly I mean today I'm struggling I'm going to struggle on this ride I think but uh, I'm just having a gentle sort of 14 mile just to see what Delamere Forest has got to offer so uh, apologies for uh, if I sound a bit bunged up, it's because I am. If I keep sniffing, I'm really sorry, but I've got a cold, I've got a sore throat, I've got a cough, I'm wheezing, all sorts of stuff. But I'm out on the bike. Also, I forgot my wash bag, so I've had to go and buy some shower gel and stuff. So, if I do any bits where I look at the camera, you'll see I'm unshaven. I look like Grizzly Adams. I sound like Grizzly Adams. So, uh, I don't know what the video is going to come out like, but we'll see. So, anyway, this is just coming up to. I think I'm near the forest centre, which we're going to have a little look around there. Delamere Forest compared to Cannon Chase is quite small uh, and I don't think it's got actual like red roots and blue roots but I do think it looks like a very nice forest so this is the forest centre in the distance there There's the bike shop, which is quite nice. So this all looks very new. Just for a summer, 2020. Cafe, toilets, information centre, bike hire, go ape. So there we go. So let's go and find some trails. See where we can go. So I've just left the visitor centre and I find myself on the Gruffalo Trail. And uh, Crowds are very good so far for gravel. Lots of people here, so I want to try and get away, away from the centre a bit. And I'm not sure which way to go. Thank you. Okay, Josh, stay there. Bye. 
navigating around the people. I need to do some research on this lake. It's a fair size and I think at one point they drained it and grew forest on it. But it looks like now they've deforested where the lake was and let the I think it's like a peat bog and, let, and let, let it build back up with water so it doesn't look that deep. And the dog was playing in it the other day and uh, she was out quite a way just up to her ankles. So, morning. morning. So I think up here, so I think the lake's on my left somewhere. So I've just crossed over a road and uh, I'm not sure where it is just yet but I'll, I'll get what three words onto it and put the location in. Uh, at Delamere Forest Centre to park all day is £8. I've just passed a road where obviously all the locals park. Uh, I'm probably only a couple of miles away from the centre. Free parking. So I'll pop that in the description below. And I must say, all the trails, I mean this trail I'm on is typical of the width of the trails. That's a horsey. Morning. And that's quite a hard trail. And then you've got like nice solid well kept trails all the way around I think so far so for gravel riding it's just a nice easy easy ride although this is a bit bumpy but anyway fun stuff I would also I kind of landed on something that's like a pot of gold and uh, I know there's a few people out there with issues with SRAM rival brakes going spongy and no matter how much you bleed them you can't get it back well in my next video I'm going to explain to you how I found the solution to that problem it's a little pot of gold cheap solution to make the brakes my brakes on this now are like new like new they're brilliant anyway that's the next video okay i've kind of ventured off piste i'm right on the edge of the forest this is probably mountain bike track there's definitely mountain bike tires a bit boggy in places Ooh. so you can you can wander off and find these little tracks however I do think the whole area is like a peat bog so I think you could quickly quickly end up up to your ankles in mud if you're not careful so I'm going to try and find the main track again and uh, not be so adventurous oh mud To go around to the left, so oh, junction still a lefty. I'm gonna head back in, pick up the main trail. 
Oh. Did that wrong. Here we are. Back in the main trail. for the obligatory gravel ride log pile photo please come to Delamere Forest where you can choose a log pile of your liking small logs big logs medium sized logs Okay, so I've just been on part of the sandstone trail, which is, I believe, one of three long distance trails that go through, oh, excuse me, Delaware Forest. And I'm just heading up to the viewpoint now. It's been a steady climb up. Uh, however, it seems to kick up the last bit. My lungs are already hand out of my chest so I, uh, I may have to get off and walk and I must say they're not pounding out my chest because it's been steep I'm just ill it's cold on my lungs So, Delamere Forest, I'm just on my way back. I'm going to stop at the cafe at the train station. Uh, good place to come for a nice, easy gravel ride. Just enjoyable. All the trails are lovely, nice and wide. People all around, it's quite busy. I think if you're new to gravel, then this is a, de a definite place to visit. It's um, nice, easy riding. And I'm just coming up on the station here, so the railway line is on the left. Easy access from sort of Manchester or Chester. And the train station is perfectly placed for the forest. Get off, your, get off the train on your bike and off you go. So I'm just going to grab myself a coffee before I finish.